833% to an historic high outperforming stocks and bonds what's driving gold let's talk to one of the world's gold experts he highlighted robust jewelry demand in emerging markets particularly in india and china as a significant driver additionally emerging market central banks have been increasing their gold reserves over the past 15 years recognizing the need to diversify away from heavily u.s dollar denominated assets this is george milling stanley chief gold strategist state street global advisors george overseas and help launch the spider gold shares that's the gld the world's largest gold etf 20 years ago when he was at the World Gold Council and I covered that one I remember it well also joining us my old Fred Todd Rosino head of research at Verify, a uh, George good to see you why is gold hitting a new high good to see you too Bob I think it's a whole bunch of reasons never just one thing with gold but we've got good strong jewelry demand in the emerging markets you've mentioned India and China but all across the emerging markets that's a very good demand there we've got them very strong demand from emerging markets central banks and we've also got Renewed investor demand and I think that that's building some momentum for gold which is always a good thing to do yet yeah, the it's quite amazing, so you and I have always emphasized this and I know you're you're a supply side demand guy supply side guy supply is fairly steady amount of mining that's actually done in gold is fairly steady it's the demand side that matters so we're seeing increased demand from China and India the two biggest suppliers out there the Chinese average investors seem very dissatisfied with the stock market there and with the real estate market there is that benefiting gold i think no question i mean gold is a very good alternative to both of those for for chinese investors the other thing um ch china had been running into some economic problems that started in real estate and then then spread into the financial sector um i think that that you know there's now some stimulus activity going on in china and that helps yeah and have central banks why now this is a very intriguing story they're increasing their supply of of gold out there explain why that's happening with economic challenges surfacing in China's real estate and financial sectors gold has emerged as a safe haven asset amidst uncertainty moreover the transparency and universal acceptance of gold as an official reserve asset make it particularly attractive to central banks seeking to mitigate geopolitical ri yeah look for for central banks in primarily the emerging markets realized over the last 15 years that they are very heavily overweight in their official reserves in in US dollar denominated debt instruments and underweight in gold, they have more than two thirds of their reserves in treasuries and less than 5% of their reserves in gold, that's a dangerous imbalance, as far as they're concerned uh, and they're doing something about it they have been for 14 straight years, now um this year has already started well with China, in particular a big buyer already um and I think that we're probably going to be another good year for central bank demand that has been very very good support whenever. Gold shown any softness and I think it's going to help to push prices higher and gold has a certain advantage, if you have it in a vault in your country you can't confiscate it I mean this whole thing about what happened with seizing Russian assets can't be lost on some other countries in the world exactly I think you know uh, it really increases the attractiveness of the one official reserve asset that is uh that is universally acceptable um, and an entirely transparent you know a uh, Todd we always talked about gold as a hedge. Against inflation George and I have been talking about this for for 20 years, but the academic L literature seems very mixed on this frankly some people think it is a hedge against inflation, other people think it historically doesn't appear to act that way, and is there any thoughts on what people are saying now about gold well people are using gold ETFs to diversify away from stock and bonds, and so we've seen a rally in gold we've seen BTI up demand for gold ETFs like GLD and GLDM in just the past month, but that's only limited. The net outflows that we saw the first three or first couple of months of the year people have looked to other ETF as highlighted by recent events involving Russian asset seizures the discussion then shifted to the role of gold as a hedge against inflation, while academic literature presents mixed findings on this matter George underscored gold's historical function as a store of value and its perceived role as a form of money as either a hedge or to diversify their portfolio like now that we have spot Bitcoin ETFs those have seen. Tremendous demand out of the gate even at the same time that gold is start of the rally yeah, as a diversification strategy, it certainly makes sense and people ask me is gold money, it's sort of a you know, I guess a scholarly question, I mean it has functioned as money George throughout history, I don't know you can't go to the store and and buy groceries with gold so in that sense it's not exchangeable, but it is a store of value it a perceived, perceived function, as money, and there are some, countries where you can still actually, 
Use gold to buy things whether it's large purchases like like real estate houses or whether it's white goods for example in Vietnam you buy those with gold kilo bars, yeah, so the important thing here is that it has a history of acting as money, it is a store of value even if we can say it's not doesn't have all the attributes of money right now and it is certainly a diversifier out there and it's the ETF revolution has made it easy to store gold in vaults that's safe uh, so I guess it makes some sense to me that if you have some concerns about diversification or you people are better educated about diversification gold will be doing a little bit better on top of the demand you're talking about yet and i would actually have thought we'd see even more despite limitations in its current exchangeability for everyday transactions gold continues to be regarded as a diversification strategy and a hedge against market volatility regarding investment options george differentiated between gold etfs such as GLD and GLDM, based on their liquidity and expense ratios GLD with its higher liquidity, is ideal for active traders seeking to capitalize on short-term market movements, while GLDM with a lower expense ratio caters to long-term investors looking to maintain a strategic allocation to gold in addressing potential competition, from Bitcoin ETFs George acknowledged that Bitcoin may attract investors seeking short-term gains, but emphasized gold's enduring appeal as a long-term strategic asset he cited a recent State Street study indicating that millennials are increasingly recognizing the value of gold in their investment portfolios signaling a broader demographic shift in gold ownership. In conclusion the surge in gold prices reflects a complex interplay of factors including geopolitical tensions, economic uncertainty, and changing investor preferences as the 20th anniversary of the SBDNR gold shares GLD. Approaches George expressed optimism for continued growth in the gold market and reaffirmed gold's endurance. Wall Street Detective this side join my Telegram channel where you can get latest stock market news with lightning speed. In this Telegram channel, my team shares stock market latest news which are very important for you and by joining my Telegram channel you can be updated in stock market every minute. To join my Telegram channel, click the link in description.